Now, your Central Coast forecast from KSBW Weather. This is Phil Frame in for Holt Hanley, and this is the view from the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk. Not much of a view, actually. It's kind of foggy, and there have been reports of fog. I've seen visibility as low as half a mile at the Monterey Regional Airport. Currently, in Santa Cruz, it is 56 degrees, the winds are light out of the east, and around the area, here is the fog and the low clouds throughout the entire Salinas Valley, the San Francisco Bay Area, but the Santa Clara Valley has been spared for the most part. We're also starting to see some clearing along the coast north of Santa Cruz. Temperatures in the 50s and 60s. And around the state, we're seeing temperatures really pop all of a sudden. We're in the 80s already from Fresno southward. The National Weather Service has issued a heat advisory for today for the San Joaquin Valley. And along the coast, temperatures in the 50s and 60s, 96 in Palm Springs is the warmest on this map. And later today, this is why the heat advisory was issued, because we expect to see temperatures approaching 110 degrees in the San Joaquin Valley, which is hazardous. And along the coast, temperatures in the 70s and 80s, Eureka is the coolest expected high on this map at 63 degrees. And here's the situation over the last 12 hours. This is a typical July map where we have storms way to the north in the Pacific uh, Gulf of Alaska. And not much happening here. We're under the influence of high pressure aloft. And as a result, we have our typical summer weather. And we don't expect to see too much change in that. Although some minor changes over the next few days, and you can see it on our Futurecast forecast map. We're under the influence of this high pressure area. It's moving toward us. That means today is going to be warmer in most places. But then after today, the high pressure is going to move back and forth, but generally move to the east. And what that is going to do is allow us a slow cooling trend beginning tomorrow. And you can see by Friday, we're actually under the influence of a trough. So cooler right on through Friday. Probably next Saturday will even be cooler than this upcoming Friday. Today though, it looks like it's going to be warmer in just about everywhere. If you're near the coast, maybe a couple of degrees warmer. Away from the coast, you could get as much as five degrees warmer compared to yesterday. That means in the San Francisco Bay Area, we expect to see highs from the low 70s near the ocean to 90 degrees in Los Gatos. And in the Santa Cruz County area, temperatures ranging from the upper 60s in Aptos to 96 degrees in Boulder Creek, almost a 30 degree difference. Moss Landing is expecting a pleasant 69, although not quite as pleasant in Gilroy with a high of 92 and everybody else in between. And here in the Salinas Valley, this is your typical summer temperature pattern. Salinas is the coolest at 72 and then getting up to 90 at King City being the warmest at the far south end of the valley. And then in the Monterey Bay area, temperatures in the 60s to 82 in Carmel Valley and Big Sur. And for the next eight days, a cooling trend begins tomorrow, a slow cooling trend, so that by next Saturday, we'll be a few degrees cooler than we expect to see temperatures today. And in the inland areas, the cooling will be more pronounced, as much as 11 degrees cooler in some inland areas by next Saturday, as we lose a degree or two every day beginning tomorrow. Well, that's good news for people inland. For next weekend, they just have to get through today. Yeah, just get through today. Although, you know, it's still, it's below 100. We don't expect to get near 100. So that's not too bad. Look on the bright side. Yes. Thanks, Phil.